In this video, I'm going to show you the offense used by some of the best players in the world that's absolutely unbeatable in Madden 24. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. With that said, let's get into it. So today, we're going to be looking at a four-play mini scheme from the formation Bunch Strong Offset in the Chicago Bears Offensive Playbook. And this four-play mini scheme is going to give you the power to beat every defense in the game. And by the end of this video, you're going to know how to rack up easy points against any opponent that you might face. As always, this full scheme, packed with one-play touchdowns and more unstoppable setups, can be found on winmadden.com. Now to best run this scheme, we have to make sure our players are equipped with the correct abilities. And since this is a very pass heavy scheme, our quarterback must either have the ability set feet lead or pass lead elite. These abilities are gonna increase the pass velocity of our throws, allowing us to complete passes that otherwise wouldn't be possible. Additionally, having hot route master on our quarterback or a receiver with a route chem ability like slot apprentice or wide receiver apprentice at this spot will give us access to four more hot routes and make our setups impossible to guard. Now, if you're playing Madden Ultimate Team, you may find even with this playbook equipped, these plays will not show up in practice mode. This is actually a glitch in the game, and to fix this, you're gonna go to the main settings page and change your default playbook to the Chicago Bears. And finally, in this example, you can see the ball is on the left hash mark. And in order for us to have the proper spacing and most effectively run this scheme, we will run every play with our bunch to the wide side of the field. Now let's get into the first play. And the first play that we're going to take a look at is one of the glitchiest and most difficult to defend RPOs in all of Madden. This is the play RPO Alert Screen. Now if you've played Madden 24 at all this year, you already know RPOs are insanely overpowered in this year's game, and this one out of bunch strong offset is maybe one of the best in the entire game. So. I'm gonna walk you through how a specific way to make this even more overpowered and make your opponent have to worry about this on every single down. This is also gonna force them to play a specific style of defense that's gonna open up the rest of our offense to attack them down the field for big plays and easy yards and touchdowns. So let's get into it. First of all, there's two different options here. I'm gonna start by showing this against a cover three defense. I'm also gonna show this against cover two, and I'm gonna show you the best way to probably defend this if your opponent, and what to look for if your opponent might be actually stopping it. So, first and foremost, our option number one is we can hand it off to the running back. Now, you can hand it off to the running back by doing one of two things. You can snap the football and just hold the A button on Xbox or the X button on PlayStation, and you're gonna see that this is a really good run. Like, it's a good inside zone. It's gonna force them to actually be worried about that inside zone occasionally. You can also just snap the football and do nothing, and this will also still hand it off to the running back, and it's, again, a really effective inside zone. But the glitchy part of this play is the actual alert screen, and it's the B receiver. So, most of you and most players that you're going to see online are going to snap this football and they're going to immediately throw it over to this B receiver. That is not the way to throw this alert. All right, this is, this is fine and you can still gain yards on it, but we're going to turn this little three yard gain into something that's a little bit more akin to five, 10, 15, 20 yards and potentially even one play scores by doing one small tweak to it to make it even better. So instead of immediately throwing this football when the ball is snapped, we're gonna hang on to it as long as possible and then we're gonna throw it over here. Now you can see that we're catching this ball with forward momentum and we get a lead blocker in front of us to go take away the first defender. This makes this RPO just absolutely insane and so overpowered. So again, I'm not gonna throw this to the B receiver until right before I'm about to hand it off to the running back. Then I'm gonna pull it away and I'm gonna throw this, right? Super simple, but now you can see we've got a lead blocker out in front of us and we are gonna get up the field for big yards. We just gained 20 plus yards on that simple RPO. Now that was against the cover three. Now what makes this so good is even if your opponent runs something different like cover two, now they have a flat zone out there, right? That is something that should probably take away an alert screen, but it just doesn't do it. Like it still is able to be completed and we're still able to get five yards on it. Five yards is a really effective run play. The one thing that you need to be worried about is them playing some type of cover two and playing a hard flat out there. So you're just reading that outside corner. If they are playing a hard flat, then you're just gonna hand it off to the running back, you're gonna take your inside zone, and you're gonna go to the next play. However, if they're going to be playing zone defense and they're playing hard flats on the outside, 
that is going to open up the rest of our scheme for big plays and really good opportunities to get massive yards and one play touchdowns the other thing that will do a decent job of defending this is somebody who's running man defense now some man defenses will do a good job some won't you can see here this player played it perfectly and where it'll stop it for zero yards but this is where the practice comes in you need to be able to get the read of this down where you're reading that outside corner if they happen to come down and play the b receiver great just don't press anything you can hand it off to the running back it's still a solid inside zone but you're going to force your opponent to have defense for this on every single snap and that is going to cause them to play sp specific style of defense that we can then attack for big plays and big yards. The next play in our scheme is one of the best all-around plays in Madden 24. This is the play Durham. Now with the play Durham, we have one of the best universal coverage beaters in all of Madden. And we're going to use this first against the cover three, but I will show it against cover two, cover four, and man defense as well. But our setup is also really simple. Now you're going to notice the ball's on the left hash mark here, and we just have our bunch to the wide side of the field. Just want to make that clear. We're running this with a bunch to the wide side. Now our setup is also, again, really straightforward. We're going to put our tight end on a drag route. We're going to streak our running back. And then if you do have Hot Route Master on your quarterback or one of the apprentice abilities on your RB receiver, we're going to go ahead and put that RB receiver on a post. Now, if you do not have access to the post route, you're going to go ahead and alternatively just put him on a slant as this is going to be really effective as well. But we have it, so we're going to go ahead and post route it. Now, your first read is really simple. If they're in zone coverage and they do not have a hard flat to the outside, you're always going to be looking for B first. If they don't have somebody in the flat zone out there, you're going to quick throw this to the outside. And again, that's going to go for an easy 10, 15, 20 yards. They have to play hard flats out there to take that away. Now, additionally, if they do have some type of flat zone playing that B receiver, then we're going to look over the middle of the field next. Now, this is where this play becomes really difficult to defend because it's going to typically put the user in conflict. Almost always you're going to end up with this guy or this guy being the user, and they're going to have to make a choice. He's either going to have to guard the post route by RB, or he's going to have to guard the running back out of the backfield. And he can't guard both. So just for example here, let's just go ahead and snap it. And you're going to notice that, all right, he's kind of playing the running back. Then we're just going to take this RB receiver on the backside and we're going to get big yards. Now, alternatively, if he does decide, you know what, I'm going to guard that RB receiver and I'm going to go down the field with him. That's also no big deal for us because the running back is going to end up in just a nice little sweet spot here that we can hit him and he's going to get up the field again, another 20 some yard gain. Super simple. Now, what if they decide that they're going to play some type of cover two and they're going to play hard flats or they're going to try to take away the quick throw. Now, I have zone drop set here, so my cloud flat on the right side is going to actually drop to 25 or 30 yards. But this is actually something where we can turn this into a big play and sometimes even a one play score. If you're able to stand in the pocket and be patient, this B receiver is going to get over the top and you're going to be able to fit that in there and get yourself a one play score against cover two zone. Now, additionally, cover four is going to play exactly the same as a cover three. They're going to have to, again, have some type of answer in the flat for the B receiver. And then I'll, they're going to have to have that decision making by the user between guarding RB or the running back out of the backfield. But again, they don't have any flats. You're going to hit this and it's big yards. Man defense is also not able to guard this play. This is just so good. So, for example, here, let's go to cover two man. And what you're going to notice out of this is you're going to have a lot of routes that actually win here. So again, here's our setup. I'm going to just show that this is man coverage. And you will notice that the tight end will win on his route. RB will win on his route. And the running back will also win on his route. So if they don't have deep safety help over the top, you're going to be able to throw that running back over the top for huge yards as well. So again, Durham, one of the most difficult plays to defend in all of Madden 24 and just makes this scheme all that much better. And now we're going to attack anybody trying to run cover two zone with one of the best quick snap plays in Madden, and this is the play Flood. Now here's where our scheme really starts to come together. 
We're taking a look at the play Flood, and this is going to be a cover 2 zone beater for us. It's a wonderful quick snap play, and it's going to absolutely torch any cover 2 zone. Now, why is it important to have a cover 2 zone beater? Remember in our first setup, we talked about the RPO alert screen. And this play is really, really hard to defend unless you are playing some type of cover 2 or man defense, and you've got a hard flat on the outside. And that's why Flood is so good. It is a perfect counter to that. It will beat that every single time. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to put our X receiver on an in route. And then we're going to snap the football. That's the entire setup. And you're going to see here, we can stand tall in the pocket and you're going to get this A receiver right in this little area, huge yards and potentially even one play scores against cover two zones. Now this does get a little bit better because you do have check down reads on this as well. So first of all, we already have our running back just naturally blocking. So if they are blitzing, we should be able to pick it up. But you're going to see a quick flat route by our, by our point receiver. He gets to the flat quick and he can be thrown for just a quick 5-10 yard gain there. So they have to have somebody even guarding that. Now this is a 30 yard zone drop. And again, this corner route is going to get over the top of any zone drops out there. It's going to be easy. Don't even worry about it. It's going to be wide open against any type of zone drop. On the back side here, you will see that we have an in route. So if the user decides to vacate and go ahead and chase, let's just pretend this guy is the user, go ahead and chase that corner route. Good for us because then we do have a check down over the middle late that we can just hit for an easy 5-10 yard gain. The play literally works perfectly to counter what our opponent is going to need to do to stop our RPO alert screen. But again, all we need to do, simply put X on an in route, snap the football. Again, we just need to stand tall in the pocket. And this A receiver is going to come wide open for huge yards and potentially even one play scores against cover two zone. And the final play we're going to take a look at is another universal beater. This is the play corner strike. All right, now the play corner strike is once again a universal beater, and this absolutely destroys every zone defense in the game for easy yards, and I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up. Now, the setup is really simple, but I do want to point out one thing. The ball is on a hash mark here, and our bunch is to the wide side of the field. That is important for this play, so I just want to make sure that you're aware of that. Now, our setup is easy. We're simply going to put our tight end on a streak, and then we're going to put our RB receiver on a corner route. Now, in order to put that receiver on a corner route, you're going to need to have a hot route master on your quarterback, or you need to have one of the apprentice abilities that we talked about earlier in the video on RB. But with this setup, this streak and double corner route combination to the right side of the field is going to beat every single zone defense in the game. It's just going to absolutely torch it. So first, I'm going to show this against the cover three. And the read is really easy here. If you see a cover three, you're going to hit this B receiver every single time to the sideline. It's going to be easy yards. Absolutely open every single time. So let's take a look at why an instant replay. Now, as we zoom out here, you're going to notice first the tight end is going to push any deep zone in the middle down the field. So this is a deep third. He's looking at the tight end. Great. To the outside here, this is where this corner out becomes really, really valuable. Now, this again needs Hot Route Master, one of the apprentices, but he's going to draw the attention of any deep zone that's on the sideline. So whether this is a deep third, deep quarter, deep half, meaning cover three, cover four, or cover two, he's going to go down the field with the deep corner out. Now, we have this great stock short corner by our B receiver, and he's going to benefit from this because he's going to get under any deep zone, but over the top of any flat zone. And again, super wide open, easy throw against cover three. I will show this real quickly against the cover four as well. So here, just want to show you it's a cover four. We're going to streak A, RB again goes on a corner. We snap the football and this B receiver ends up wide open on the sideline. Again, 15 to 20 yards, super simple. Now this becomes even better because this also beats cover two. So here's a cover two zone. You're going to a lot of times again, see cover two with hard flats, mainly because of our RPO alert screen, but I'm going to keep them in a cloud flat here just for the sake of it but we're going to streak a and we're going to put rb on a corner now you're going to see this played a little bit differently this outside zone the, the cloud flat on the right is going to now play the short corner but the rb receiver is now going to be over the top wide open against the cover two zone so you're going to see here rb is now wide open and if we rack that up we potentially get even a one play score against cover two zone Again, super simple. Now, if they happen to be in man defense, this play is also still not dead. You can see that the running back is on a really, really nice in route, and that in route destroys man coverage. So if their user isn't guarding him, he's going to beat man coverage as a nice little check down, and you can go get big yards and potentially break a tackle or two to turn it into a one-point score. 
So that is the play corner strike, a great addition to this scheme. And if you do this all together, this scheme becomes almost impossible to stop and is one of the best offenses in Madden 24. Now this offense is crazy good and you're gonna score a lot of points, but to become a better Madden player, you need to be able to stop people as well. So if you like this video, you should check out this one where I show you the most overpowered defense in Madden 24.